Apologies, everyone. But technical difficulties. London decided to absolutely die. Yeah. Because <laughs> Not because of COVID. 2021 couldn't get any worse. <laughs> it's the 5G, guys. <laughs> anyway, we're all very upset. Ellie's very upset about this. No, it's fine. Brownies. It's fine. It's fine. But it is radishes. Right, well, uh, spoiler alert, I've been sitting here fucking waiting for this because uh, I have the best thing. I have the best hmm. thing. Radish clasps her hand together and says, Oh, for the love of God, that lit from here, Titan again. And casts a beacon of hope, uh, which. Uh, it does a thing. Uh, choose any number of creatures within the range of 30 feet. For the duration, each target has advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saves and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Nice. Uh, that's All everyone right. in the party and Chip. Uh, within 30 foot. Oh, yeah, Chip's not in 30 foot. Never mind. Everyone in the park. If, you, if, you hold your, if you hold your action, he will be, because Trump said to get ready to catch. <laughs> That's metagaming. No, oh. no, 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 I'm not going to do that. J just everyone in the party, including Cookie. Yep, Titan is just in range. Yeah. So that's good. Wonderful. I mean, we still want to take Chip down, just maybe not lethally. We can, we can sleep in, it's fine. Alright, so everyone just remember that you have advantage and wisdom saves and Death saves. Death saves. Uh, death saves. What's that spell? Oh, That's nice. insane. Beacon of Hope is a third hope. level spell. You can't cast it at a higher level. <laughs> That's great. It's, it's a really, really good, good spell. Is it concentration? It is. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me we don't Definitely all get stunned if you fail concentration. Speaking <laughs> no, of concentration, yeah, it'd be a bad time to lose concentration when someone's dying. Orkrin, <laughs> do you like your Hello. concentration on a certain individual in front of you? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, well, I mean, this dude, he really done gone fucked up, didn't he? Um, I guess I'll just gently place the axe against his chest uh, and just say to him, you call me weak. Because you don't recognize true strength. And I'm going to go into a rage. I'm going to use my wings to push me off of the ground five foot up in the air. I'm going to go full banana back with the axe. And fucking <laughs> bring that shit down as hard as I can. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so. Roll 1. And remember. 20 plus 8. Copy. Ooh. I think I'll take that 22. <laughs> oh, it's a shame it's not an actual 20. Um, Doesn't matter, it's an automatic crit because he's paralyzed. He's still a crit oh. anyway, it's paralyzed. Yeah, you're <laughs> right, <laughs> aren't you? Yes. Well, I'll roll the damage. Um, and I'm pumping a second level Divine Smite into this. Uh, and so that's 40 points of damage. enough to add an Add, add another one as well. <laughs> right then. Roll another 1d8. Um, At this hmm. point. So that's another 4. So that's 44 points of damage so far. Bloody yes. hell. Is that the um, crit as well with it? Is that the crit? That's, yeah. not, that's without the crit. Go on then. Give me the rest. Oh, you got a crit. Nice. Um, so add that all will... those dice together. Oh, it fuck was a, me. It was a crit, uh, Lewis, because, uh, because he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed. Twelve plus twelve, 12 20, four, plus six 20. plus thirty-two. Oh no, he's he's definitely dead. Uh, <laughs> so nice. that's twenty-four, fifty-six, sixty-two. <laughs> uh, so that's a hundred and eight points of damage Fuck in him. one hit. Get him! Fucking hell! <laughs> what? <laughs> Roadhouse. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I split that bitch in half. <laughs> How much health did he have? I missed it. 107. Oh my God. <laughs> Plus, he'd he taken some from me as well. I helped. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I knew this was going to be a battle about who could one who could one shot who first. 
Oh, fuck yeah. It was kept being 50-50s at the beginning there. <laughs> so how much, so how you much smashed damage was it in the end? It. 108. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. a good number right there. Jesus. So would you like to describe how you do this? Uh, so I'm going to, uh, as I said, I'm going to use the wings to push myself off of the ground so I can get up abnormally high. As I hold the axe, I swing it behind me and like go full banana back. As I then use my entire body weight to slam it down, literally splitting him in two. And as the axe hits him, the divine smite just creates a burst of blue fire as I carve him clean. And you know what? Hold on. Oh. Oh, I think that went quite well. <laughs> quite. Yes. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yes. Oh, he boy. Did. He very he did. did. Oh, well. Hello. Just like, just, just put in chat, like, a breakdown of where all that damage came from. Because that was insane. Okay, that so my damage is a d12 plus 2d6 yeah. radiant, which is the axe, mm -hmm. plus 1d6, which comes from Zealot, uh, Zealot Barbarian, mm -hmm. uh, plus 3d4d8, because it was a second level Divine Smite, and he's a demon, uh, plus 4 from Strength, plus 2 from Rage, plus 9 from my uh, I am a uh, Asimar, um yeah. presence. And plus two from my uh, zealot attack is a d6 plus uh, half my barbarian level, um, <clears throat> which is that rolled came out to 44 points of damage. But then, if you roll that as max, yeah, it just fucking is mental. Um, no. So that was 108 points of damage on a single attack. Mm. Uh, wow. Well then, I uh, so. Anything else? I guess I'm now just going to float my way up to the Mind Flayer. Um, yeah, you have a okay. second attack, don't you? And uh, I'll make my second <laughs> attack. <laughs> Alright, so Awkward. we'll say that, that 30 intense. there is for both of you. There's a wee bit of echo. My flayer is uh, fucked. <laughs> I'm still twitching. He's hearing Megalovania right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the final boss has appeared. Um... Mm. Oh, I'll use my inspiration from Baron on that one. Uh, roll 1d... What is it, uh, Rob? Is it a d8? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so that's an unnatural 20. It's a hit. Unnatural 20. I know, right? So as you go for the swing, <laughs> you see the Mind Flayer use the action to create this almost see-through field raising his AC up. So oh. as you smack into him, it literally just bounces off. You little bitch. <laughs> In fact, no, you was really close to hitting. Not only it didn't bounce off, you smacked through it, but he managed to move back a bit as you break <sighs> <laughs> Oh you got even the eyes of oh, shit, shit, <laughs> shit. That was close. Shit. <laughs> Ah, well, I guess, you know, I've done my old, I've done my whole turn, that's action, bonus action, and movement. I guess I'll just stand by him. God. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a horrible life. <laughs> oh, Walks in, ha, weak, gets cut in two. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie's turn. Cookie's gonna run up behind you, Titan. Ooh. Titan, you notice he has a Triton in hand. Yes. As he throws out the Mind Flare. Oh, he just... But don't worry, he has a dart! <laughs> Which also... Um... Cookie, it's the finale. Alright, so both miss, unfortunately. Uh, Cookie yeah, looking real mad. Uh, next, before we get to this person, is another legendary action. Oh, fuck. It's a layer action, right? 
No, no, yeah. legendary action. Oh, okay. Their actions are at the top of the turn, whereas, yeah. Mm, yeah. I didn't know if we were back at the top of the turn yet. Does a 27 hit? Who is this? Can't hear you. Okay. Now we can. Does a 27 hit? Hit who? I, I, oh, I think no, you're talking you to me. Me, me too. If you're talking to me, then yes. <laughs> Shelter, it shout who it is. Orcred! Yes! <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> 27 hits! Yes, it's 10 above my AC. Make an intelligent save! Uh -oh. Fuck! Uh oh. <laughs> uh, wait, is he casting a spell at me? Nope. Uh, Bloody so he's throwing his tentacle at you. Uh, oh, no. So nasty. Like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. uh, Why is no. he throwing the tentacle at you? That's a <laughs> twelve. Uh, I might. I'm gonna use my uh inspiration to re-roll that. Okay, so awkward. Oh either. yeah, we have inspiration. Once again, <laughs> <in> my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. What did you get, Orkin? Twelve. Twelve. <sighs> so, do you remember when you went into the bag uh, and something grabbed you? Yeah, and I was, I was you... stunned. You get this familiar feeling that you are now stunned. Motherfucker. Oh, that was that, right. As he wraps the tentacle around mm. as you take You take 30 points of psychic damage. Uh, <laughs> Wait, didn't we cut one of those tentacles off when we were doing the bag thing? Uh, uh, we did, yeah. yeah. We did. Does he have a missing tentacle? I've just re yeah. Yeah. It's like, there's like one tentacle you notice that's slightly... See, one of my tentacles, it's shorter than all the others. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I inked. <laughs> What's Chip gonna do? Let's see. Cry a bit more. That fucking film always just reminds me of I'm gonna touch the bet. <laughs> <laughs> you touch the bet. <gasps> hmm. Okay. You just see Chip stare at you, Radish, <laughs> as he raises his hand up and you hear in the back of your head, sorry, as uh, he casts Spell Man. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, there goes the... Yeah, I can't use my reaction, sorry. Uh... That's alright. Oh. I've got plenty more where that came from. Uh, and you notice when he does it, he's like shaking. Someone help that boy. Someone help that boy. Hmm. Anyway, back to the top of the round. Lair action. Which one should we do this time? Oh, I see what happened. You dispelled it right before the lair action, so no one got advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well played. <laughs> it's almost like the mind. Very smart and controlled so one that. Stop it. Hmm. Although you guys don't need to do a wisdom save. Oh. So everyone but Orkrin, because he's in the air. Can you roll me a strength save? <laughs> That's not good. Uh strength save. Strength save to draw me is a plus nine. And I think you have an advantage, don't you, John? Yeah, he's uh, raging. Yeah, I do, because I'm raging. Just a straight one. Just a straight d20 for me. What are we doing? Sorry? Dex save. Strength save. Okay. Strength save. Strength save. Oh, oh well, all of us. I'm going to keep it. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, but I'm going to keep it. Is this uh, all of us, did you say? Yes. Okay. Oh, thank God. I have a feeling it's a 17 DC. I have though. a feeling, yeah, that's okay. not enough. Oh, shit. Hold on. All the technical difficulties Ooh. today, guys. Yeah, you okay. can't really know. No, <laughs> oh, oh I no, Shadow, they might half oh. your movement. 
What would it be like <laughs> to be mortal? <laughs> Did anyone get above a 15? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Nope. I got a 14. Only Shadow got a 14? I mean, I could re-roll. I could use my inspiration. You can if you want to. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Cookie succeeded, by the way. Yeah, you've got Uncle. That's a 15. <laughs> there we go. So you all notice the membrane kind of floor that you're stepping on suddenly starts to stretch out as these, uh, yep. well, let's call them tentacles again, try to grapple onto you. Uh, but apparently you all saw this coming. She didn't trust this floor to begin with. <laughs> True. Radish stamps on it. Like, either, <laughs> you either knock it out of the way or literally just walk out of the way. I have spiky snowshoes. I stamp on it. <laughs> yeah, just too Radish just stamp. Radish sees herself raising up, looks at the fingers like, No! <laughs> you will not use my life! Uh, Wait, it gets somebody who again. also said no because of his inspiration, was Shadow. It's his guy. Okay. So, Mindflay is still floating, like the bitch she is. Yep. Um, hmm. Would you allow me, Callum? Mm -hmm. Titan's in front of him, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to try and climb your party member. <laughs> no, I'm going to try and spring... Hang on, so we've got Cookie behind <laughs> Titan, right? Oh my it's god. Like you've got a so I could like step up, it's yes. like it's like steps, yeah. I could just <laughs> step on cookie, up onto Titan, and then jump up to the mind player, yeah. right? You've even got Hawkrin <laughs> in between as well, so it's like a perfect line. Yeah. <laughs> let's do that. I'm gonna jump up and then while I'm in the air, because I'm so quick, I'm gonna make all my attacks. <laughs> if that's right, okay. Roll me an acrobatics. Okay. Could he get advantage because the Titan would help him do this? No. <laughs> oh, leg up. Ooh. Ooh, that's a 14. Alright, so you go boom. Oop. Boom, boom. You manage to get up to him. You prob you won't have enough time to get your bonus action attack, but you can use your action. Okay, that's fine. Um, So I can get my multi-attack on him, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. You could grapple him, bring him down. Uh, well, that's a miss. Uh, that's a nat 20, though. Wee. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't know why I've only got him in the air. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so that is 18 damage. And 18. I'm also I'm also gonna sneak attack. Is that with sneak attack? Because that is without sneak attack. Ooh. Uh that's okay. an additional one damage with sneak attack. <laughs> Thanks, sneak attack. <laughs> Every awesome. little helps. Snake's currently being hunted, she can't attack. Wait, how did you only get one damage from sneak attack? You got two D6 now. Oh shit, I do, yeah. I will roll another D6. Bear with Time for that two damage. <laughs> <laughs> Another one! Actually, <laughs> 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 yours! Jesus! Oh, of course! God. Of course! Uh, 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 yeah, so that is 20 damage. At least it's a nice round number. 20 damage it's altogether. It's a nice number to do. Uh, and I will, um, I will land back down below him. And. But directly under him? Sure, why not? I mean, I'm going to move anyway. I'm just going to do something okay, first. Well, that's good. That will help me. Why does this help you? Oh, because I'm going to... Oh, right, yeah, because I'm going to move. Yeah. Because I don't have to lift him up and um, put you underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, um, who looks like they are about to attack him next? Me. Initiative-wise. Um, Baron <laughs> might, I but... think... Still him. Baron might. You know what? I'm I'm him. gonna give the I I will give the heavy hitter advantage. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna look up at the at the mind flare and I'm gonna say in deep speech. Ooh. Wait, what? Uh, How the fuck do you yeah, know? Yeah, I I, I I know deep speech now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up at the mind flare. Where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> 
Uh, this is from Mastermind. I get to learn two languages of my choice. <laughs> you walk out of that pub quiz and you suddenly know two more languages. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. I, look, I just... Pub um... quizzes, man. <laughs> oh, yep. do the... You can learn a lot of a pub quiz. No, still got orc in. Uh, so, <laughs> still in deep speech, I'm just going to be like... Uh, look out, Mr. Squidface, there is a sperm whale coming. And, uh... <laughs> and point out of the, uh, out of the membrane and hope that he looks. So that, uh, that means that Orkrin has advantage on his next attack. Against the Mindfire, specifically. On Orkrin? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Orkrin. I mean, I am stunned, but thank you. Orkrin. Wait, when are you stunned until? I have no clue. Until the tentacle lets go. Oh, all right then. Can I transfer it to Drum? <laughs> you can. Okay, oh, I'll by the way, then. when you hit him, I did do a roll, but he rolled really well, so he's still got Orkin. Okay. All right. Um. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give it to Titan because sperm whale, Titan. It's thematically appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I like Titan it. Titan stronger than sperm whale. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> And then I will uh, run over to. Uh, let me have a look at the camera. Could you zoom out, please, Callum? He's just done it. No, he can't zoom out anymore. Uh, I will run over to. Uh, who's the unhappy face? Me. Radish. Radish. Uh, I'll run over next to Radish. That one. Yep. I was going to say, I, I could also be considered unhappy, judging by the look. <laughs> Nah, you're angry. With me. angry can be happy at the same time. Got, yeah, exactly. Got, angry happy. He was getting dragged in my slipstream. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how fast you are, Shadow. Yeah. But and obviously, the because I attacked fastest the, with the um... mouth is Baron. So, <laughs> what do okay. we do, Smug Baron? Uh, Baron uh, Smirk will go away as he looks towards uh Ralphus. Uh talking still a free action, right? Yeah. So Baron's gonna slowly make his way towards Drom, probably diagonally behind him, whilst talking to Ralphus and he's gonna say to him So there? You don't get it, do you? The mind flayers, they were lying to you. I've read their notes. Mm. So can now looks like a ditto. Can you roll me a persuasion? Sure. Oh my god, I just realised we're fighting a giant ditto. Oh no. <laughs> that has like oh. lots of little dittos that come out of it. <laughs> Hold on, let me just cross off Oblex and write in ditto. Mm. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even going to say the roll. Look at roll chat. It's uh, it's, it's another nat twenty. Oh, no, another nat twenty. It's not even that twenty. Jesus, it's a thirty-one overall. Holy shit! Fucking hell! Persuasion's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, so... are we gonna befriend Ralphus? <laughs> <laughs> Baron, you keep saying this, and you just see Ralphus kind of just staring dead into your eyes. But you get this odd feeling that he is in. Deep thought right now. He knows you rather well, Baron. Do you want to know who was responsible for killing the king? Don't have to say anything, still... just give me a nod. He just continues staring at you until he eventually just goes, Go on. It was those guys right there, and he points right out to the mind flare. They were the ones behind the whole thing. That's why we're here. To kill this bitch up here. You kind of see a uh, Ralphus look up to the mind flare. You missed the perfect opportunity oh, these... for a poon tang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah true. I'm thinking that. True. Are these words true? You just kind of see the mind flare look at Ralphus, rolls his eyes. And then you just see Ralphus's head just go. Pfft. Holy shit! Oh, oh fuck. Fuck. Jeez. And then he turns oh, into Red Goo, right? He turns into Red Goo now. 
Baron one shot him. <laughs> he turns into red goo. <laughs> He just does, the mind right? flare, it looks... Do you realise how much work it is to fix his mind? Now I've got to put some extra work in. Well, thank you for making my job a hell of a lot easier. Baron looks up and sees that Auckland's in trouble with the tentacle. Um, mm -hmm. he, and he's going to try and take out the cocoon, crumple it in his hands, and he's going to try and polymorph the mind flare to get him to let go oh okay so yeah. wisdom saving throw please <laughs> wisdom save i'll tell you what baron might not have done anything during the dragon battle but barking yeah man's about to go super <laughs> saiyan i swear <laughs> all right you do notice when doing it it's a uh, quite tough he seems to have advantage yeah that's fair uh that is a 28. Oof. Fucking yeah, hell. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Well, just I looks at you as you do that, Baron, and goes, yes, it would be real easy. It's been fun playing with you guys. Um, it's been pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Orkrin says with a twitch of the eye as he looks at you. Well, you, can't, you can't say I didn't try. Uh... Just hear a very muffled, like, screamed fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Baron just, Baron just turns, his, turns his head and says to himself, Fuck, this has never failed before. Why now? And that'll be his turn. I don't like how someone called Ancient Dragon has just entered. <laughs> <laughs> someone needs to chill the fuck out. <laughs> that's, that's right. But you know who doesn't need to chill the fuck out? That's fucking Drom. Drom. <laughs> what are we doing? Drom is going to uh, move back till there's 10 feet of space between him and the Mind Flare. Okay. I mean... Uh, yeah. And then um, Dr uh, Drom's going to rush forward and goes, You attacked my wife! And then suddenly um, <laughs> like he jumps 20 foot, 20 foot up in the air and wraps his, hand, wraps his hands around the Mind Flare's neck, grappling him. Fuck yes. He's currently 30 foot up. <laughs> he grabs his foot. <laughs> However, Sorry, because I really like this, if Titan's willing to sacrifice his bonus, you can give him a leg up. Hell yeah. Alright, there you go. Alright, so Titan, you you just see Drom about to jump. He's like, oh, I know what to do here. In fact, no. Ty Drom, you run over. Cookie also helps. Bit of a trampoline. Boing. Up in the air. So you... Can you roll me a... Whoa, we're grappling, aren't we? Guys, I lied. This was Advent Children all along. <laughs> so you did what Shadow did, but more clumsy. Uh, so do the to... grapple... <laughs> Don't bother rolling. He rolled a one. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky. Oh, no. Yeah, you don't want to do that for the mind. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right, so you... as, yep. as a bonus you... action, when he when he gets down on the floor, he's going to headbutt the mind flare as his attack action. <laughs> as his <bonus> attack action. <laughs> no. Okay, hold on. Let's. Are you gonna, are you gonna land on it? So use him to uh... break your fall drum. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of that thirty foot. He's got a Goliath on top of him now. So we're going to roll that full damage, but please roll yeah. your headbutt damage. Uh, an arm strike. Let me see what Drum's arm strike is. Wait, the Drum one, 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 one plus strength. strength. One plus strength. Yeah. Yes, that's. How? Okay. Five or six. He gets to make a bonus uh, action attack because of frenzy rage. Yeah. Right. Uh, cool. Twenty-four. That was what I was wondering. To, to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, all right, so you all fall. Uh, that is nine damage of falling, but obviously two of you resist it. And then on top on top of that, it's a uh, it's a, another six damage for the mind flare. Nice, Orkrin, You're no longer grappled by this creature as you and... land on the floor oh. with Drom and the mind flare. God damn it! <laughs> 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 what do you mean, god damn it? <laughs> Takes damage. I'm on the floor. 
You are right next to him. Hey, but you're not. You're not. You're in your brain. Yeah, it's true. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not bitching. Don't worry. You see the uh, mind flare look in your eyes, Drom. You filthy, disgusting, useless race. Ooh. Ooh. Mind flare right. racist. Racist mind flare, yeah. Fuck All right, All right Brexit. What is this, the down. 1940s? I thought you was beyond this. Did you not realize really? my campaign was based in the 1940s? Oh, shit. Uh, Drom says back, <laughs> trying to say... Drum says, Drum says back, try saying that when I rip your fucking head off. Ooh. And with that, he uses his legendary action. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to say it. Uh, well, no, it's not the thing you think it is. Let's see. Does a 25 hit you? Yes, 25 hits. So as you say this to him, Drum, you see the tentacle just wrap around your neck now. As uh, you're probably still gargling at the creature as he strangles you. Can you roll me an intelligent save? Um, Drum's um, like dr Drum's still like growling and like screaming at the creature. They're all Drum. I'm gonna re-roll that. Using my inspiration. Oh, Fucking <laughs> minus two. <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Minus two. Yeah, uh, that's pretty. Oh impressive. wait, actually, don't use your inspiration. I'm feeling lucky. Okay. Now you can use your inspiration. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I didn't hear a sneeze. Where's the sneeze? Fuck. You can roll once more. Shit. Oh, that's... Yep, yep, yep. No! No! <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> no! Jeez! He's, he got, he got two one. natural ones and a five. That's... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You've got the story of Drum's life right there. <clears throat> Bye, everyone! No, you're not dying. All right, so you take 25 points of psychic damage. Oh, no, nope, wait, I forgot the plus five. 30 points of psychic damage. Still not too bad. And uh, uh, you are now stunned like Orkin was. Have I still got my hands around his neck, though? Yeah, that's a really important thing. Yeah, yeah, you're stunned with that. It's <laughs> <laughs> not on. You're both currently see... strangling each other. <laughs> Uh, Ralphus is gone. Mind player's turn. Oh no. Let's see. Uh, I don't have a 60 foot cone. <laughs> thing. <laughs> we'll just I'm double sure that. No, no, go, go the other Wait, way. He, go the other way. Casting <laughs> spell? Is it spell casting? It is not spell casting. Fuck! No. It's his mind blast. <sighs> Fuck! Mage Slayer be like. Yeah, I can't counter spell this. Now I know how Nathan feels with counter spell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can everybody uh, roll me a intelligence save? I can try. Oh, no. Again, shit. Uh, well, Baron's intelligence save isn't great either, to be fair. I think we're all failing this one, lads. Intelligence is my I will use save. my I will use my inspiration for that one. Actually, you know what? <sighs> Me too. I've I will used use my indomitable <laughs> to re-roll that. Hmm. All right, who got above seventeen? Oh, I did seventeen exactly. Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. I, I got twenty-three. Oh, ho, ho. anyone nah, got below seventeen? That one. Me. You did. Yeah. Uh, wait, I forgot. I need to do cookie. So what's happening? Oh, no, at the drum cookie. At the moment? Is trouble right? Uh, he's getting on? strangled with a tentacle when he's stunned. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Cookie's inspiration there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> cookie, no. Yeah, that's much better. That's a that's a 19 plus whatever. Okay. Yeah. So. Those who failed take, let's see, 10, 15, 
20. Please don't be a bubble 28. Please don't be a bubble 28. Please don't be a bubble 28. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It was only a 25. So those who failed, you take 25 points of psychic damage. That's not a cracker. Are there, are those who succeeded points? take 12. I, I, I just want to take six because my resistance I take six right? as well, yeah. At this point, by the way, you guys start to see blood streaming out of drums, ears, eyes, and nose. Yeah, same. Cookie also resists its currently, so that's helpful. Nice. Uh, those Go who cookie. failed, you're also stunned, but that's a non-brainer for drum currently. Literally. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, I just realised what I said. Onto his brain yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, Titan. Okay. You didn't so, fail, did you? I did not. I used my Indomitable, so I saved it. Nice. Ninth level fighter stuff, guys. Hell yeah, it works. So I'm going to pull out my big great sword, hoping I can mm -hmm. tell the difference between Mind Flayer and Drum, and I'm going to swing it in front of me. All right. With a big old 25. Yeah, that hits, you know. Yeah, it does. Doesn't he have advantage because he's grappled? The, you're also stunned, so... Technically, I no. do have advantage from Shadow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I an advantage. He has advantage anyway. I have multiple advantage, but it didn't really matter. Oh, this has happened <laughs> twice now. The person I've given advantage to had advantage anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's brilliant. Oh, okay, so fucking attacked again. Welcome first attack, Master, eleven man. points of damage. Eleven points. Eleven points. Second attack is a twenty-four. Yeah, that hits as well, you know. And that's a big old ten points of damage. Mm-hmm. And since he's here, I'm going to use my bonus action. Use... What the fuck's it called? Action Surge. I can't believe I actually forgot that for a second. Yeah. And I'm going to attack him again! Oh, hey, ta -ta -ta -ta. Do I still have advantage? Uh, does Shadow, does he still have advantage? Uh, It's only on the first attack, unfortunately. Okay, oh, so that's a 15. That does not hit just. No. Okay. Well, my second attack. A big old 12, for fuck's sake. That action the surge did fuck all. The annoying thing, Frank. <laughs> but you is, looked um, hype. Do you know what the annoying thing is, Frank? I was going to haste you next round and say attack as many times as you can. Oh, you <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> Obviously, I can't mess again, so. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I thought I was on a roll. But hey, I still did a fair amount. I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy. Now, let's nice. turn someone's frown upside down. down. <laughs> and have it be their go. Okay. What are you doing, Radish? Can I, can I reach Drom? Can you reach Drom? Let's see. Let's see. He's 30 foot away from you. 20 foot. 25 foot. Sorry. Um... Okay, never mind. I'm going to use a sorcery point to use distant spell. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. I know what you're doing. It's about time, uh, and I will cast uh, Cure Wounds at 5th level on Drawn. Yay! Oh, hell! Oh. Oh. And I say, I said it like you're back, did Cure Wounds is the melee one, though. Uh, yeah, but I use distance spell. You use distance spell. Does that give it range? It gives it both. It does. Range. Range spells get range. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why distance spell is one of the best spell uh, thingies. Uh, okay, so it's five. Oh, eight. and I forgot to say, from Titan's attacks, I did some rolls. Both Drom and Orca, and you're no longer stunned. Thank fuck. Yes. I did something good. Yeah. 
So, Drum, you are healed a lot. You don't know why, but you get this odd no, feeling that Radish is touching <laughs> your shoulder. <laughs> two, one, two, 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 two. No, two. no, look at <laughs> look at Ross. Oh Ellie, oh. Ellie, Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope is gone because Chip gone. dispelled it. Chip dispelled it. What a oh, bitch. fuck's sake, Chip. <sighs> Uh, wow. <laughs> that's okay, because I'm going to bonus action to delete one of my 4th level spell slots to gain a bunch of sorcery points back. In fact, all of them. I have them all now. They're mine. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's still something. And that's the first time I've converted things to sorcery points, ever. Sorry, Drop! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, those five hit points might save him. Yeah. <laughs> it might. It might. Uh, let's remove the hate from Orkrin while Orkrin decides. Fuck's sake. Oh, is it me? Can't believe you've done yeah, this. Yeah, you're right after Rabbish. Yay. Ready. Oh, this dude. Wait, he's on the floor, isn't he? Because we uh, fell out. I say he got up during his turn. Oh, I forget he had a turn. Oh, well, you know. Uh, yeah. I can't cast spells during this time, really. Which is a big shame. Um, you use spells? Why not? Don't let <laughs> your dreams be dreams. Give, give him smack. Well, um, I, I'd be raging. Give so, him you know, smack. Uh, I guess I'll just have to hit him twice. Uh, also, at the start <laughs> of his turn, he does take four points of radiant damage. Uh 24 has been taken off. Plus 8. Oh, so 25 to hit, and I'll do my second attack. And that's a 27 to hit. Oh, both pretty good. Wait, uh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I'm a fucking 6th level what Divine Soul Sorcerer. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Oh, yeah, you get oh. your healing shit. I get the healing shit. Uh... It, when it, while you're incapacitated, wherever you, whenever you were an ally within five foot, oh, oh, I rolled the dice, so it's fine. I can expend one sorcery point to re-roll any number of those dice. I'm re-rolling all of them. Sorry, I know my turn's <laughs> but already gone. But... Did Did you have the sorcery points at the time? I did. I had one left. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Uh, <laughs> one, two. Okay, one, so one, while that's one, happening, one. I hope you're rolling down. Thirty-one to... health. Hey! Yeah, look at that roll! Six, 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 five! <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, here goes my first hit with a uh, second level Divine Smite. We can change the future! Oh my uh, god. That is 53 points <laughs> of damage on the first hit. What the fuck is that? Okay. Nice. Jesus uh, Christ. And then I shall do the second hit. Which That's is too many numbers, Will. A, a, a first level Divine Smite <laughs> on it. Um, which is another 22 points of damage. 75. So that like is... Do this? Oh, oh fuck! Souls. We knew this was uh, going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I... Oh. oh. I don't really know with this one. Um, Got these tentacles on. Yeah, I, I guess... Uh, I, I think I'll just bury it into his side and kind of like drag it down and uh you know go for a big like belly cut of the tentacle boy gut the right. fish she has gut the fish as they say that's <laughs> inspi inspiring words from the fishmonger mm. <laughs> as a uh, you just see all this bluish black blood start to flow out of him as he Ugh. screams can you imagine uh, if it was then, red goo? He turns to red <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, this oh, was no. the fake final boss, everyone. Oh no, and now he emerges from the Oblex, right? <laughs> and he's, well, and he's in power armor open? now. Um, he's in Oblex armor. Uh, can I have a look into the, the Oblex now that I've dealt with like what I perceive as the threat? 
Um, for Chip's the... just like, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> just stare him in the eyes what uh... I perceive as the threat. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your bonus if you wish. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to lie, I'm going to take my potion of healing. Um, wait, is that allowed as a bonus action? Only if you prepared it on your side. I would have had it prepared for the dungeon, but I didn't set, state it private previously, so I won't do that. Um, okay. I'll just make a little perceptive check. Okay. How close do you want to get to the oblique perceptive check? It will change the. Um. I guess I'll move so I'm. Uh... So you're currently 15 foot away from the swimming. I'll move within 10 foot, sure. Uh, and you know what? I'll I'll make that ten foot be uh, five foot next to Chip as well. And I, I'll roll my perception check. Okay. A four. Uh, you don't see any the Oblex. You like you try to look at Chip. Okay, just going. See him shaking. <clears throat> Kill him, Radish. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, cookies cookies turn. Command, not Radish. <laughs> Unless you'd like to move, oh, Don't, I've got it. Uh, no, that's it, thank you. I'll do it. I'll Cookie, do it. like, just runs up to you two up here and raises his arms up in the air. It's like, we did it! Victory! <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, we did, Mr. Uh, Cookie. He's like, oh, that was easy. The mind flies like, I know he, I can't defeat you, but he can. <laughs> As the final boss emerges. <laughs> <laughs> the Chip here is just gonna stay one there. Ginormous mind flare. Are, are we out? Of... We, uh... No. Are we out of combat, or are we still in combat? We're still in initiative. Uh, so now for initiative twenty. So you all hear in your heads. Did you think it would be that easy? No, yeah, it's it's been so be. It has been so far. Drum <laughs> <laughs> yeah. almost died. Really? Okay. <laughs> you look like you're in a lot of pain there, Drum. I'm always in a lot of pain. Have you seen my fighting style? As, I thought you should say, have you seen my fight? Like, this red <laughs> kind of just come out of the pool. As you see, it's starting to form into the mind. It pulls itself out. But you also notice... Hold on. What do we notice? <laughs> <coughs> oh, no. so, uh, second one appears over here. Over where? Uh, second mind flare? Oh, over there. The okay. exact same mind flare. Also oh, no. falling out. And it's the old one. which one's the real enemy trick. This is <laughs> oh, shit. This is just dot one, this dot is two, a dot three. This is as many mind flares like as we've ever said blasted twenty. You see them all starting from red goo, all transforming the mind flare you've seen. Yeah, it didn't take us that long to kill the Shadow first one. <laughs> okay. It's obvious what we How much do. movement would I need to get up to chip? 10, 20, 45. 45, and then I would have 65 left? Yeah, 65. Um, okay, I'm going to run up to Chip. I'm going to attempt to grapple him as I run past him. Okay. Roll me your grapple. Okay, that's just a athletics, right? Yes. Mm. Okay, this is potentially a stupid idea. He got a B and eight. <laughs> That's fine because I have a minus one. Oh. <laughs> Still got higher than fifty. A nine. Yeah. <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that happens, isn't it? Um, okay, well, so going? I'm gonna I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna keep on running up to the Oblex pool. Oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm going to the... slam dunk him into the Oblex. What? <laughs> 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 You're throwing radishes 
sibling <laughs> into a ginormous <laughs> pool of custard. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Done, Lewis. I have to think what happens when you throw an Oblex person in the Oblex. <laughs> they turn back, obviously. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, you literally like throwing water into a pool of water. You f slam dunk him down, and just a bloop. <laughs> and he, and he, oh, he just what disappears. He disappears. <laughs> and as you do this, Shadow. So rather radish. I'm you... just like sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got this big frowny face. <laughs> uh, as this happens, you suddenly feel the ship like just do a bounce down. Uh, and you notice there, there used to be like a somewhat glow over the glass around this area, but it kind of like disappears a bit. Right. Uh, I feel like. Gonna from the worried expressions and all three mind flares that the ship is starting to break down. Oh no, was oh Chip holding God. it together? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because he had the, the shield around it. It was his abjuration yeah. magic that was keeping oh, the shield. No. <laughs> oh, no. You've killed us, you've killed us all! <laughs> this is the second time I've been to ship. <laughs> <laughs> in two sessions. <laughs> oh, Jesus. In two days, you mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, two, two sessions in two days. His drunk ass character decided to fix the ship's engine <laughs> by smacking it with a maul. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anything else you'd like to do, Shadow? <laughs> um, okay, what was, the grapple was my action, right? Yes. Okay. Um, Orkrin isn't stunned or anything, is he? No. Orkrin is not, not stunned, though. All right, I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll walk up to Orkrin. And I'll just I'll point to the nearest mind flayer. I'll be like, get that one. And give you advantage on your first hit against it. <coughs> I can know, you're more of a bard Frank, than right. Baron. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just a better bard, yeah. Oh fuck. Um, oh, don't be that rude. <laughs> Baron's not no, no, I mean I mean Mastermind Rogue is just better bard, is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Baron, 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 you're going to have to show them otherwise. Inspiration, not bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> right, so fucking Lewis ruined my plan for Chip. Um, <laughs> you were going to polymorph him, why? As he does. No, I wasn't going to do that. It was probably going to be in vain anyway, but plus his one was a lot funnier. Um, it was. <laughs> right, so I'm going to have to think about this. Um... Uh, they're pretty good at saving throws, so... Uh... I wanna... F oh. All right. mm. I've got a funny idea. So this could go Reba really well, or really backfire. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So, just give me a second to pull it up. Uh, do -do -do. So, Baron takes out a familiar, here we go, shaving of licorice, mm, has yeah, it cool. right in his hand as it pushes forward, going to choose someone, and fuck it, he's going to go for Old Faithful. He's going to haste Orkrin, so Orkrin's got plus two, oh, uh, boy. and an extra attack. <laughs> and, um, he's, um, He's gonna do for his bonus action. It's a good plan. Mm. It's a good plan, Baron. If Orkrin tries to uh, betray us now, you can just drop concentration. It'll be stunned. <laughs> <laughs> See, Why I do you think I'm betraying? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't think, think it's the right time the for him to betray us. The entire way through. Um. Mm. So um. 
Yeah, I think Baron's going to be a little bitch here, and he's going to use his bonus action to activate his gloves of blade warding, considering what happened last time with haste. Mm. And he's moving back for <laughs> because he doesn't want to... <laughs> he doesn't want the same 10, thing. Twenty. Happening. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want the same thing happening to him what happened last time. That'll be my guy. No, 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 no. Let's not have that, shall we, Baron? No. Somebody might not learn their lesson is drum. Um, Drum's going to have a look at the Ublex and uh, see if there's any like, if there's anything he can hit, or, or if there's anything he can hit inside of it to maybe kind no. of destroy it. Are you saying you'd like to use your bonus for a perception check? Uh, I'll go for my bonus. I was going to say my action, but I'll, I'll use bonus if you let me use bonus. Yep, I allowed Orquin to do it as a bonus. You can too. Twenty-one. <laughs> 21. Okay, so you look into the Oblex, you notice all different figures. You actually notice a chip floating around. <laughs> as in a chip, or as in the chip? <laughs> the chip. <laughs> is that it just, chip. Is the Oblex just jellyfied it's tomato McDonald's sauce? Order. Yeah. <laughs> you see a Ralphus <laughs> over here. Mm. Put directly in the centre here. You see this rather large crystal. And looking inside the crystal, you think you see this mind flare. Mm. Well, I do one thing for it, everyone. Uh, you watch as a, as a big smile appears across Drum's face, and he's going to pull out a uh, tower breaker and like reach it back um put it back up on his head and then just try and double hand it and chuck it into the oblex at the at the crystal. Yay! Okay. Yay. Roll with disadvantage. Uh it's that's an attack, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> A 12 does not hit, I'm afraid. So Shit. Yeah, doggo. What for? Uh, does, the hammer, does the hammer go all the way into the Oblex with, with a 12? Yes. Okay. Uh, then Drum's going to pull out um, a javelin <laughs> for his second attack and then try and aim it at the crystal. Okay. No disadvantage with this one. Because it's an actual throne weapon. 19! <laughs> 19 does hit! Uh, javelins, javelins. I always forget how much javelins do, which is 1d6 plus 7. Yeah. It's not a huge amount. But it might just be a bit. 1d6 plus 7. That's a 13. Max damage. 13 Enjoy. damage. All right. As you kind of throw it, it slows down a bit in the o Oblex. But mm. as it, you see it hit, it like cracks. And as soon as you see it crack, you see these mind flares kind of crack a bit as well. Mm. They all just look at you and go, no. Uh, Drum's drum's gonna shout out. Forget the mind flares. Attack the crystal. And he's going. Uh, uh, I, I assume everybody knows where the crystal is because he, considering he attacked it twice. Yeah. Oh, oh, you you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, I'll say people know. Sorry, my dog just ran in. Okay. <laughs> Assistant yeah, no. DM, right there. No. <laughs> no. Right, so that's your turn, John? Yes. Ralphus, no. Mind flares! Oh no. Oh shit! Here we go. This is why Baron <laughs> ran. So, mind flare number one is going for you, Drom, as you've literally just. <laughs> causing a bit of issues here. Mm. That's a. Uh, oh, fucking hell, really? A 15. That doesn't hit. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Wait. Damn. Well, this one's going to go... 
this one's going to go there and also try to attack you. Oh. I imagine a 26 hit you. Yeah. Listen, I love you too, Dotty, but not right now. No. <laughs> okay, so you are now... S no, intelligent save, please. It's, like, it's not like I'm... It's not like I've got a minus three to those. It's... Yeah, if you don't get a nat 20, you don't succeed. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, and minus three, not plus three. Hmm. I thought I got three! <laughs> a three. That does not yeah. do it. You need 14 more. <laughs> Nearly there. Almost there, guys. <laughs> so you yeah, take, so just, you take just 26 of points of psychic damage as he wraps the tentacle around your neck again and you're stunned <laughs> once more. 26, yeah? Yep. How long's this fucking tentacle? Jesus. Fifteen foot long. Bloody hell. Yeah, Jeez. these are long tentacles. Yeah, this one's points. gonna go boop, boop, boop. Oh no. Orquins a fucking problem, they think. <laughs> so they're gonna go attack you. Oh, boy. That is a twenty-three. Yeah, that hits. Can you intelligent save, please? Uh okay. Don't sound uh, sad. You've destroyed that one creature earlier. That's a natural one. I'm uh, hitting the deck. Ooh. You hit the deck. A, a yeah. chew. A, a, right. a chew. It's <laughs> <laughs> a six. Six. <laughs> a chew. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that is. 26 Hello. points of psychic damage. Oh, yeah. I'm well below. I drop. All right. Orkin's down. Shit. The Mind Flayer's just got his tentacle around your neck, <laughs> squeezing as tightly as possible. Uh, we'll just put an... Hold on. We'll put an X on you, so people know. Mm-hmm. X, I'll give it to you. Okay. Uh, that's the end of the Mind Flayer's turn. So now we're going for a legendary action. Mind Flayer's going to use a strength save on you, Shadow. Fucking strength saves. <laughs> okay, hang on. Some someone better pull some sort of like secret superpower or epic Wait. ultimate Mind Flayer destroying weapon out of our swag by now. I think I might have it. <laughs> I don't have much left. I mean, if someone wants to get me six. up, I'll be forever grateful. Yeah. I know. What'd you get? A six? Yes. So, you just see the Mind Flare stare at you as you feel your body kind of get forced forwards as you have risen up 30 foot. Okay. Uh, you are current. I believe it's grappled. Okay. Definitely so I can try and break out of that, right? You can. Okay. It is a telekinesis, if you're wondering. Ooh, fancy. Okay, now it's somebody else's actual turn. It is Titans! Okay. Titan has seen a lot of shit go on. The last thing he heard was Drom shout, hit the crystal. Hopefully he saw where the crystal was, and he's going to try and launch a javelin at the said crystal. Okay. Go on, Titan! Crystal, crystal, crystal. Crystal, crystal. Crystal. Pretty much. He rolls a 20. None there. Yes. Nice. Go that on, yes. Hits. So that's a bit more like it. For a big old nine points of damage. Nice, nice. He then follows through with another javelin directly at said crystal again. For a big old 14. No. No. And he's used. This one literally, it literally goes next to it and you just hear a bing. <laughs> oh. As if the AC was 50. <laughs> Damn it. That is, that is pretty much all he can do at this moment in time. He's okay. sort of just looking around like, what's happening, guys? I'm very confused. Radish? I'm going to move as far forward as I can. 
on your okay. right foot. Or behind, behind So Titan. you're literally just behind uh, Titan. Okay. Here's my thing. The your side thing. of the ship behind the Ublex. What is what is there? Can I see? Some oh. weird membrane glass. You also think you see... Is that the material plane? Oh, I see fancy in over there. What's left of it? <laughs> you see a big Ublex dragon just get splattered against the glass. Shalele! Shalele! You're starting to see a bit of air like coming, rushing down the side. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, a bit of what? Rushing air? Fire. 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 Oh. That's... It was like the ship's crashing. That's better. Wait, are we, are we like re-entering the atmosphere is that what's happening here perhaps <laughs> okay here's the sitch i'm going to uh mm. distance spell mm -hmm. quicken spell cure, mm -hmm. cure wounds at fourth level for orcrin because radish is a good pal there um, we go and let's see, let's see how much this does. Or the eight plus two. Do that X, shall I? Nineteen health for Orcrin. Hey, let's go. I'm not, I'm not going to re-roll that one. I'm happy with that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, because mm. I used it as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. And hear me out here. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> so stupid. Um, so in our time, always... in our time with the Ublex before, would I have gotten mm. a good? Would Radish have gotten a good look at the Ublex? What it's made of, or like what it, what sort of consistency it is? No, not even with the tadpoles. You never did. I don't think you ever did checks on it. Okay, so it wasn't the same shit that the tadpoles were in earlier on in the Mind Flash shit, no? It was not. Okay. Well, there goes my idea. Okay, I've got a better idea. You were going to destroy all of it, weren't you? I, I was going to destroy water, yeah. Um, Unfortunately, it's not water. Well, it's got some sort of water <laughs> consistency to yeah, it. Yeah, like, it must be at least part water. <laughs> yeah, then you use it against people. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I use destroy water on a person and destroy them. No, because it, be it has to be in a container, and technically the ship's a container. Skin is a container. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can well. cast a spell and try if you like, but I'm telling you right now, it doesn't. All right, better idea. Are you ready for this one, everyone? I'm gonna create come... water. See that mind player directly in front of Drog? Yeah. Wh which one? The one right next to the Ublex. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna cast Gust on him. Strength save, bitch. All right. Get back in. Get in the sea. That's a free. He fails. Mm -hmm. Uh, he is sent flying five foot in any direction. I'm gonna put him back in the Ublex. <laughs> that was gonna be my idea for my next turn because he was right next to it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. As that's the one that did it, Shadow. You, well, I guess you slow fall, but you fall. How? How? Oh, 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 there we go. I'm back. Once. Oh, Grin, repay the debt. Lay on hands, rub or something, please. <laughs> oh, bro, I don't have any lay on hands. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, cookie sir. No, I'm walking out, you lips, you know. Oh, does this mean I'm not grappled anymore? No, you are now, you slow fall back down. Yeah, cool. Cookie's after, oh, where's our strategy? Yeah, where's Cookie? What's oh, cookie? you are, sorry. <laughs> I was just like, sorry, I wait, thought I you thought... wasn't unconscious anymore. Yeah. Well, with now actually having life points in me again, uh, and not having a decent amount of play on hands, uh, I'm actually going to follow Drom's advice. I'm going to leave the axe on the ground, and I'm going to take out my bow. Mm -hmm. yes. and I'm going to take a breath and take two shots. 
Okay. The mind flare costs deflect missiles. Oh, we've got some echo going. Yeah. Seven, I think this is now. Yeah. So that's a 25. That one hits. And a 22. They both hit. Nice. Nice. 2d6 plus 6. So that's 13 points of damage. 13 points. Okay. You see it cracking up a lot now. Uh, now, I wasn't the one that was being concentrating, so would I still have Baron's haste upon me? I don't know how haste works. Baron, how does haste work? Uh, I would have to lose. <laughs> I have not lost. He's still hasted. Apparently you hasted in your death. My heart was just beating really quickly whilst I was dying. You, you rolled two death saves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it didn't help me at all. The blood was just pumping out of my body really quick. So you uh, okay, so I'll do one more attack then. Which is a 23. Ooh, that also hits. What do we think of this die? Oh, oh, oh. I agree. She gives That's it, only she a gives four. It a, a wiki feet out of ten. <laughs> wiki feet, yeah. We... I, I'm sorry, only a four. Okay. It has Is three health handle? remaining, don't worry. Uh, I mean, that's an action. Uh, that's an action. That's an action. Uh, could I have got my healing potion ready last turn? We can say you did. Thank you. I'm going to take my healing potion. I've got it down as a greater one, but I know it's not. Uh, okay. so it's, was it 2d4 plus 2? I think it is. That is a normal portion. Alright, so while Orkin's doing that, Probably Cookie's dies. turn. Cookie is looking back and forth, back and I... forth. Cookie, but... save drum! Save drum! Yeah. Okay! As you see him run around this way and go to attack the Mind Flare. <laughs> Staff of the Sea Snake at hand. Okay, first attack hits. Second attack. Well, is a crit. Yeah! yeah I I <laughs> Alright, well, let's do the first attack. So that is. First attack's only nine damage. But now the crit attack. There it is. See. Come on, Cookie. Lots of damage. 33 points of damage. Lad. Mm. Pretty good. And That's you it. notice as he literally stabs into this creature, it just. Yeah! yeah! Told you Cookie would get the final blow. Onto one of them. Yeah. He just raises his arm up and is like, I did it! Didn't we do it, Drum? He says, looking at Drum in a lot of pain. Now it is initiative count 20. Oh no. Oh no. Bom, 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 bom. As you say, Two more of them appear. Yeah, All right. We really need to destroy that crystal. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shadow, that's a good idea. Well, if you, you must stop try and get it up, maybe I could. Okay. Um. So, uh, I'm now on the ground, right? Yep. You slow forward back. Should you zoom out a little bit, please? Uh, I'd like to run back to roughly where Radish is. Okay. Oh no. And then I'm gonna run I am gonna run straight at that mind flayer who is standing right next to the Oblex pool. And I'm gonna attempt to, I'm gonna attempt to tackle him into it. Get down, John Connor. Wow. I like to see that you go here and it's just the road runner. Me <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Alright, so you're shoving him, so that's a strength contest, or are you literally tackling him in? I himself. would like to tackle him in. All right. So, so like, grab him and also jump in, like, with him. Okay. 
and hope that it doesn't eat me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh no, we're going to get another display <clears throat> shadow. We're gonna do Did you shadow. roll? Uh, so what would you like me to roll for that? Strength content. Mm, okay. I mean, if it's going to be a strength check anyway, then I may as well just shove him. Go ahead. Okay. That's an eight. Wow. Yeah. There's no mind flares don't have much strength. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what? Well, they're, the they're, they're the strongest. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Well, so. no, they're, not, they're basically just squid nerds. Squid nerd. Squid nerd. This one's thinking to himself, this feels familiar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question. Every time he gets shoved out, he only says one thing. Yes. Stop. How many rounds has it been? Like four. Fuck if I know. Not so ten. Okay. Um, um, not in ten. With, no. with the rest of my turn. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, you know how we talked about that I run so fast that I can run on water like Dash from the Incredibles? Yes. <laughs> I would like to run on the Oblex. <laughs> okay. Until I am over the crystal. <laughs> and then hold my breath. <laughs> okay, you hold your breath. And you just and then I'm assuming I Yeah, I'm assuming I like sink down into it a little bit. Yep. Not as slow as if you was in water, a lot more you go in. Yeah, just you just that. before that happens, um I'm gonna shout over to uh who attacked the crystal last? It was Drum, wasn't it? Uh I'll shout over to Drum like keep no, going. Uh, oh was it no, because it was he cracked the crystal. Drum attacked didn't it. Titan attacked mm -hmm. it, Orkin attacked it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll 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 called out, I'm the one that called out we should attack the crystal. Alright, who, who damaged it the most? Hmm. Who did the most damage to it? Probably. I think, I think me it's with the sheer friend. amount of attacks I can do. Yeah. Three d six plus nine. Mm, okay, I've I've in, I've done it to Orcrid. I've done it to Titan. I'll do it to Drum this time. For it. Uh, you've got advantage on the next attack against the crystal. Okay. Or whatever you know. Mm. <laughs> uh, no, it's got to be a specific enemy. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, Drum. Yeah, come on. You done, Shadow? Uh, yeah, because I can't really do anything else. I've I used my action to to shove the dude, so uh, I can't make an attack on the crystal just yet. But okay. I can probably do it on my next turn, hopefully. Uh, how does it feel going into the Ublex? I, I I feel like this needs Have a description. You <laughs> like you're being reverse birthed. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus! I've, seen that. I've wow. seen that scene in American Gods. It's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever if touched I, jelly before, Shadow? If I made my full move, I, I Shadow thing. hasn't. But Lewis you has. Imagine that, but your whole body. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Actually, sounds uh, jelly bar. Anyway, you want to move your full movement? Okay. <laughs> Ten. There we go. Uh, how far away is the crystal from me? Ten. Sixty. It's about sixty-five. That's okay. Um, Baron, with his uh action, is going to take out his light crossbow, and he's going to mm. try and shoot this thing. Uh, fifteen. That's the AC. Bloody hell. Right. I'm, I'm not sure if this is good or bad, but the song Shoot the Throw just came on. <laughs> it could be a blessing. Uh, uh, 11 damage. Pretty good. All right. You did 11 damage with a crossbow? What? Yeah. How would you I like to do this, Baron? <gasps> yes! Nice! Yes! Yes! <laughs> uh, I just really hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> um, Baron, as he walks up and takes up the um, crossbow, aims it, and he thinks back to what happened at the um, 
dragged in a last fire peak with the dragon fight and how useless he felt. Name drop. And thinks all the things he's done today to help. And he says to himself, I'm not useless anymore. As he flings back the arrow and it goes straight into the crystal. And as you do this, you kind of see the two mind flares just looking at it slowly. Shadow, you think you're fast, but in this gel, but not as fast as usual. You see this bolt literally just embed itself into the crystal, through the cracks. You see it hit mm. directly in the heart of the mind flare inside. As you are kind of pushed back, Shadow, is it? Yeah. You just see these goes. You all hear a scream in your head as, nah! as this Oblex just kind of, just a big, like a geyser. Your goo just flies <laughs> everywhere over you. Catch race time, Darren. <laughs> uh, what is what about the, the mind flare body? Uh, it has got a bolt for its heart. Hey, Dr Drum's gonna walk over, um, pick up Tower Breaker, and then just oh, crush its head. Okay. As you walk up to that direction, you suddenly notice outside, you think, oh, Fandolin's pretty. Oh, shit. As you literally go, as the ship crashes into the ground, you all start jumping up and down. All the people inside just woken up. Oh, it's finally... <laughs> as you... <laughs> Shadow, you're the closest to the window. You just look outside and you just see how close... It literally taps the tavern. <laughs> oh, what is it? Like, slides across the ground towards it. Yeah, <laughs> you see nice. a bunch of people from Vandalin just looking at you from the window. This is this is the end of Men in Black. I just blew up. <laughs> I, goo just blew up everywhere as I was inside something, and then we just crashed up to something. <laughs> um, so is Vandalin okay, or is it fucked? No, Vandalin's fine. Oh, oh I thought it just... was going to crash on Vandalin. <laughs> Like, no, no, it literally just rebuilt the tavern. <laughs> okay. And that's the end uh, of that stream oh. day we need. Right, Yay! Baron's going to turn around to Drum, look at him, says, I know what you're thinking, yeah, what you're right. <clears throat> but please don't crush its head. Sorry, don't just crush its head. Oh, you know, like, we're in my ears from the crash, you know. Not to mention all the blood. Okay. So you're crushing uh, his head, did this. you say? No, no. no I, like, I, said, I, said to, I said to Baron, all I heard was crush its head because uh, I disconnected and I'm theming that as, um, like, drum, a drum's got a ringing in his ears from the crash, plus, like, all the blood, <laughs> all the, all the blood and everything making it, hard, making it a bit hard to hear. No, Ooh. you big. Oh, I don't want to call you that now. Don't crush its head, please. Don't Someone's fizzing. Okay. I don't care. Let it fizz. <laughs> Let it fizz. Let it fizz. Drums, go drums going to um. In that case, walk over and tie up Ralphus. Ralphus kind of just looks up to you, and he looks like a defeated man. Who else do we see? That was inside the Oblix. Uh, oh. Chip, I think. Yep, you see Chip. Or Chip, yeah. Uh, so John Ralphers gives no risk. He doesn't do anything. He just allows you. Um, you see Chip. He kind of like you see Muriel. You actually Muriel's see Cookie the... run over to the swimming pool bit. Yeah, we jumps. Is off. Muriel like in physical form or is it like Banshee? Physical form. Like... Yeah, yeah, she's not... reunited. But she's dead, though. Isn't All right, she? that's not me fizzing. They that's somebody Karen else. Brick back. Yeah, she's dead. Well, I'm curious why she again. is, but oh, well, actually, no, we're he's literally there in her. Oh shit, she's not dead. No, because the Oblex brings people back to life if you put a corpse in it. Mm. Oh. Well, now we know oh, that. Yeah. It would have been alright if Shadow died. 
<laughs> Could have brought back oh, Carrick and then killed him again and threw him back into him. Killed him again. I was literally, I was literally about to go get Carrick, but I was like, oh wait, no, the Obelix is dead. <laughs> also, you burnt him alive. Well, dead. Um, you burnt him alive. Can dead. Can Baron the corpse. Up the office? Yes, and as you're walking over there, Radish, as you gain your senses, you kind of just see Chip just staring over at you. <sighs> God damn it. She'll pat Radish. Baron on the back as as he, she walks over to him. Look what you got yourself into, eh? I'm sorry. Next time, I won't come and rescue you. <laughs> she, he kind of just goes straight into a hug. And you can see tears oh. swelling up again. She stops for a oh. second and then hugs him. Next, oh, I should be the one. Thank you. We're coming home. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're coming home. Um, oh, she starts to cry too. Mm. All right. So, Baron, you walk over to a tied up Ralph. Baron looks at him. It was you, wasn't it? At the party. You did. You did do those horrible things. Not just to my father, but to the rest of the nobles, right? I can see it in your eyes. He not. Thinks to himself for a moment. You know, Shadow I should sees kill this. you. I should kill you right now, but it's not just me who deserves justice for what you did. I'm not going to take all the satisfaction for myself. Maybe a few months ago, before all of this, I may have done, but the other families deserve justice too. Now you know the truth. If you've got any honour left in you, any of that old person that I used to know, not this demonic fucking poontang, <laughs> whatever the hell you are these days, you'll come with me to Neverwinter and you will face justice in front of everyone. Not just me, everyone. Baron, as you say this, for the first time in your life, you see the always stone cold face of Ralphus. He has tears going down. Okay. As you wish, Baron. Is he going to like bows his head to you again? Drum just. Hi. A failed man deserves this. So I'm just pick him up. We'll take him there eventually. Um, the king's family deserve to know who were the ones that their father, their husband, died to. Baron's going to go over to the mind flayer. He's going to take off his, take out his um, dragon slayer rapier, and he's going to cut the head off. Okay. It takes Tom? you a moment because yeah. the crystal... Yeah, aren't chopping weapons. True. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll hand Baron It's, it's a sword, axe. but I made it rapier stats. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Baron a hand axe. I don't want to butcher the thing. Uh, they deserve okay. to have it in full. All right, you suit yourself. Baron. You cut this creature's head off. You know, I didn't deserve um, the dragon's head, which is why I gave it to you, but this time, selfish as this sound, this time feels right. Man, yeah, you've got, you've got the final blow, you can have it. Speaking of, uh, speaking of trophies, uh, Drom is going to take the flaming axe and hand it over to Orkren. Oh, 
have a little look at the axe. It looks exactly like the one that you had. What, my old one? Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Is if I say Ignis, does it do anything? Shoot. It does light up. This motherfucker. <laughs> you notice where it looks similar, it's not the same. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit like um it's a bit like when uh Drom had his great sword, but it was uh, okay. updated. He just had mm. the same weapon. Okay, okay. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of play with it for a second. Uh, kind of lost in my thoughts, and let I'm gonna let everyone else go. I'll just take a minute. Okay. <laughs> everyone else. Yeah. What's there any last about? things you want to say? As you see all the people of Neverwinter and other places starting to gain consciousness. Is anyone? S someone contact me and Brad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, how yes. did I get my sister and you <laughs> take out the sending stone? <sighs> I've done enough talking today, but fuck. Is he, um, rings the sending oh, stone? Uh, yeah, I'm over the sending stone, sorry. You, uh, you ring Carissa. And she picks up. Are you She's okay? like completely out of breath. You actually notice there's like a slight wound in her head. It's a bit of blood trickling down. Jesus, Carissa, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Who is Jesus? The, uh, the <laughs> dragon just blew up. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Dino Brand's kind of going around saying he hit it with a stick and it just blew up. <laughs> well. I don't kids. know about that, but we did see the dragon attacking. Thank God Beerbrand was there to protect you guys. guys. Everything's over. We've got the main culprits. Guys. We've even got Ralphus. Baron killed the dragon too. Oh shit, he did? Yeah. He's finally a dragon slayer. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Baron's going to put two and two together at the moment because he's a bit emotional. <laughs> yeah. Where's Anderson? Is he so, okay? You see, kind of Anderson's right next to her. Like, literally, his arms are over her shoulders. I'm just sorry. I'm holding her too close. Adra. Oh, it's still okay. attached. Adra, my mum. Is everything okay? Yes. Everyone's. Somehow, everyone's alive. <sighs> Leah. Leah doesn't look like she's in good shape, but I think she no. said she's had worse. Okay. The hot punk. We'll come and see you soon. Um, everything's been taken care of. Um, thankfully, nobody died. So we had a few close calls, I'm not going to lie. I'm fine. Not a scratch on me. So... Fucking lucky for some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's true. The rest I only of... took like. No, that's, that's a true. lie. You took that mind entire... blast damage. That I took seven damage. I took no damage. <laughs> you took mind blast the damage. The entire dungeon. Oh no, the blast damage. The blast damage. Sorry. Yeah, that's all that like radish took as well. Shut up, just punches damage. Baron. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it pans, it pans around like everyone's bleeding from the ears and the eyes and covered in goo. <laughs> me, me and Drom and just stood there like fucking heavy breathing, almost dying, and Baron's like, "Hey, not a scratch on me." <laughs> <laughs> okay, Baron, Baron's not very sensitive to these things. Okay, um, we'll see you soon. Um, see you soon. Love you. Love you too. Thank you, Baron. Oh, you're gonna make me oh. fucking cry. Stop. Hangs up the bending stone, and you see Baron actually having a few tears of hit, few tears oh. of himself, hit tears himself. Chucks the um, sending stone to Orkrin. I need a moment. Mm. Then he's gonna just take a few moments for himself. Radish will extend a hand to offer chip up, and then 
to summon the healing spirit and tell Orkrin and Tron to get in. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck are you waiting for? You just wait, you've seen Death's Door! Uh. Oh, that was a blow. That was certainly a lot of fun. Yeah, but Orkrin, you ain't quite worthy to meet Zario yet! <laughs> 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 That's the next boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ship teleports to Avernus. Shit! <laughs> well, look, there's another party we need to help. <laughs> We've got a big fight coming up. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Did anyone understand what, what, what Jacob just said? Because I said <laughs> no, 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 that one looks a lot like me. Oh, right. So, uh, guys, is there anything else you'd like to do before we end the campaign? No, Dr Drum's just gonna like lie down on the floor and just like uh, wait for Radish to um. To uh, to do the circle, so we can go to a decent place. Leaving the ship here for someone else to deal with because we killed it. I'm not cleaning I'm up like, afterwards. I like how we ended the campaign <laughs> in Fandolin. Yeah. <laughs> um, are we are we doing like a little epilogue for our characters, or are we doing that yeah, next Callum, session? Callum's asking what we do now before we end to the epilogue. I think. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I was thinking, I, I was going to ask when um, you want me to do my thing before that. Oh, don't worry, no, we're all doing it today. Okay, cool. Mm. All right, Shadow's I, I just wanted to make back. sure that there was no other little bits before we see what everyone does. After. All right, well, Shadow's no, I, got one thing he's going to do. Yeah, yeah, I have something to do before that happens, but I just didn't want to say it Got out them. of time. Oh, you got that. Um, it kind it kind of needs to happen at the time, but okay. I imagine if that's happening now. Um, uh, we could say during your one when you talk about it that you have the correct situation. Right. Anyone okay. else feel like Orquin's about to kill us? Which <laughs> 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 is like he's 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 building up for it. He's just like, oh yeah, we will do this. Um, he comes already just stabs everyone. <laughs> no, Orkrin. Send me a message, um, Will. Tell me what you're talking about. Uh, does anyone else want to do theirs? How contact? <laughs> is barren, but I feel as though I've already RP'd enough as far as this part's concerned. So I'm gonna, if I can, if it's okay, I'll save it for when uh, we do the epic. Okay. So how intact is the ship? Like, could we go back through the passages that we came through, or is it just destroyed? <laughs> Callum. Uh, you can leave. Back. Sorry, I'm re I'm reading a thing. <laughs> so, so what was the verdict? Sorry. Oh yeah, you can just leave. Oh no, I was I was just gonna go back to where I left Carrick and just make sure he's like fully burnt and hasn't disappeared or anything. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Before Which you're able to you walk do. out, and I know you're very fast, but you decided to take your time this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm walking pretty slowly. Uh, you uh, feel that like this energy oh, will suddenly no. come from Orkin. Yep. I turn around. <laughs> you kind of just see... You know the small wings on his back? Mm -hmm. they, uh, they start to grow out. As you feel this radiant energy fly over everyone. Uh, Orkrin, in your head, you hear what seems to be something in Celestial. Your time material plane is all that. A new solar. Yeah. Well, what it's a time to fucking cut out. I know, right? God damn. <laughs> 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 okay. A new solar has been born.
We didn't hear us. Okay, I didn't hear the last bit. Um. Mm -hmm. By the rules um, of Mount Celestia, an angel must stay at the plane. Well, hold on. What is that? <laughs> uh, that feels so definite. Oh, no. I'm muted. Don't oh, worry. I'm muted. Thank you. I was literally in the process of doing so. Um. All that feels fairly definite. But I guess this is goodbye. Oh wait, no, you. We don't hear this, do we? <laughs> yeah, no. It's... <laughs> no. <laughs> we were all using read mind. <laughs> you're not. Gonna, you're not going to go berserk and kill us all again, are you? No, not this time. Um... <laughs> he does feel different, Orkran. He gives off this kind of different. Um. Gonna check if that. Uh, well, this Rob's done. feels like the last. Uh... Time I'm going to see uh, a no, lot of you for a while. Still get noise. Um, which is not the best feeling, as I've come to enjoy our time together. Um, being that you have all uh, helped me through so much and stopped me from dying multiple times as I look towards Radish. <laughs> um, she winked. And have almost killed me multiple times as I look between Shadow and Drum. Uh, Drum smiles. I feel it only fair um, that I repay that amount of debt. Uh, okay, Shadow... Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> when... when... Uh, I shall go up to uh, Cookie, and I'm going to take off the backpack, uh, oh, which nice. I've worked out, I think, has roughly 500 gold worth of stuff in it. Um, mm -hmm. So, nice. Cookie, that rebuild Muriel's lighthouse and make it your home for her and you. It's the least you deserve after so much. Um, I'll walk up to Titan yeah. and just... <laughs> Muriel's eyes are just bright, <laughs> wide open <laughs> and Cookie looks nonchalant <laughs> about it, but thank you so much, Orkin. Uh, <laughs> I'll walk up to Titan um, and I'm going to take out my uh, short sword uh, which always points uh, north and shows the compass directions. I'm just going to burn into one side uh, and then burn into the other. Uh, one side in Celestial and one side in Infernal Champion. Uh, oh. A trophy for you. I uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Awkward. Why does this feel like the starts... end of Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shall... Uh, Go up to drum. I don't have anything to give you, except a offer in a year to fight me. <laughs> what a miss it. Yeah. Let's finally let's finally prove who's stronger. Drums. Always sunny top guard. Drum fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Dr uh, Drum's going to give um, give Orkrin a Roman handshake. So you know, you know like when when yeah, the forearm, the forearm grips, he, yeah. he'll accept Ooh. that. Um, he'll walk up to Baron uh, and take out the Sending Stone and place it in his hand, uh, and just say, "Now this is your respons responsibility." Um, Try to be the responsible leader that you always wanted to be. I'm sure you will accomplish it. Thank you. And may I just say that if you weren't there when Sakana 
came to me that day, I may have ended up a very different person. So, thank you. When you made your choices and they led you here. Hmm. Uh, I'll walk up to Shadow um, and take off the bow that I always use. Uh, and with the axe, I'm going to burn into the side of it an infernal thousand claws. Bye. And you may have uh, my bow. Uh, uh, just a little you. Lord of the Rings reference. <laughs> 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 my um, axe. Shadow. Uh, and my compass sword. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of things to give here. Um, um, as as Orkrin turns to the next person, uh, Shadow is going to, similar to how he did before in the forest, use his staff to cast dancing lights in the shape of a person Fuck with some <laughs> angelic wings. <laughs> and then, with his newfound mastermind ability, <laughs> That allows me to perfectly inter uh perfectly sound like somebody else. <laughs> I'm gonna perfectly sound like Zariel. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, oh, oh, Orkin, Orkin, my little pog champ. Uh, <laughs> it is time to come and join me. <laughs> Take the bow back. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly sound like Zaria when you still sound like Shadow. Perfectly <laughs> 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 really perfectly sounds like Zaria. Doesn't mean it's not coming from Shadow's mouth. Just, just, just yeah. Just imagine it, okay? <laughs> uh, no, Shadow. You also have uh, another gift, and um, uh, okay. Uh, it's just a small bottle. Um, right. Poison. And a. Uh, <laughs> Slight favour. Uh, please drink this and then go get my dagger back from the fucking man to call that still has it. <laughs> <laughs> I will do this. Uh, oh my god! And uh, then I shall go over to Radish and uh, kneel down. Uh, uh, don't, don't say anything! Don't, don't say it. You say goodbye. And she just full on like full body hugged him. Oh, he will most definitely accept that. Um, whilst the others got presents, I don't actually have anything for you. Um, that's all right. <laughs> but uh, I will do soon. Hmm? Um, and one last thing. For all of you here. If you ever get to a moment where you need me, should it be a fight or should you just want a reunion again? Uh, if you just call my name, I'll come back for a minute or two. Once. That's it. Once. Shadow. <laughs> question would you say it's been like enough time that it is now a new day I think that's perfect <laughs> trying like stone strike me or something what well, the last last guy, are you talking about yes yes it has okay I'll be like oh queen just before you go would you like to pull a card and I'll pull out the deck of wands. <laughs> I will pull my first card from the deck of wands. Have you never pulled one before? I have actively avoided pulling a card. Oh from the my deck god! Of watch him get an. Watch him get an eight. Watch him get an eight. <laughs> Sorry, he's about to ascend. It's fine. <laughs> takes a takes a. There was an eight in it. Last year with him. <laughs> there was an eight in it. What was it? Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> That's not wow, we haven't had that one. Oh. <laughs> Pop quiz is now invalid. Delayed Thunderbolt. <laughs> or, can you, yeah. or can you draw it and you kind of just look at it for a moment. And it looks like a person who looks very confused with peanuts in his hand. <laughs> and 
you just hear this stomping. <laughs> Why? As for whatever reason, uh, an elephant appears. <laughs> somebody get somebody call Beer Brand. brand. Uh, <laughs> maybe I can send that one off to Beer Brand. Yeah, that can be Beer Brand's gift. I fuck it. He didn't have one, but now he can have that. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna disappear uh, in twenty four hours. This is your new celestial steed. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> it's a holyphant. Oh, no. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Well, it anyway. has been fun. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna dip. <laughs> You're gonna dip. How do you dip? I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna get out those wings and not really knowing a direction, float off into the sunset. <laughs> or sunrise, I suppose. <laughs> just and gonna just... awkwardly back <laughs> out of the situation. And just like Icarus, his wings burned up and he fell to his demise. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. As the elephant runs behind him, trying to catch up. Uh, yeah, he is wings. following. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> God damn it, Shadow! And that's gonna be for the whole day. <laughs> uh, and as he flies up, you just see this, like, portal just open up. As it goes through. And as it goes through, Orgrin, the elephant disappears. It's followed you through to the other place. <laughs> and you notice wherever you end up, the elephant is there with you. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! <laughs> Eat it, Dagamore. Um, uh, where did you end up? Uh, was it my choice between the two? Yes. Oh, boy. Um, could I way. potentially say that next session? With the roundup? The roundup is this one. Yeah, oh shit, is it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Um I think I think Will meant with the the you know, the art the us talking about the, the campaign as a whole. Session zero. Yeah. Session um, minus one. I would <laughs> like to uh I would probably right, but go we're talking to... about everyone's endings today. Um Mm. Yeah, you can decide while we're talking about ours, Will, if you need time to think about it. Yeah, do you want to do that? I mean, uh, I can do. I know I know what I'm doing, but I, I didn't realise it was an either or. Um, it can work well, you for can either. Do both. Just which one do you want to go to first? Uh, I'd probably go to uh, Celestia first, as that'll help me okay. with my other and thing. He, and he wants some of that cheese. Uh, <laughs> because... Uh, <laughs> After, just going to quickly insert this, after roughly a month, uh, Radish is going to find a small package that has been delivered to her of various foods and ingredients that I have collected. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, I shall go to Celestia first. Okay, well, why don't you tell us the rest, as we've done most of yours now? Um, so, Orkrin, uh will actively spend time uh, hunting down uh, very powerful demons and very powerful uh, devils, as it were, so he can mm -hmm. um, build up his strength with the demons and rise higher in rank amongst the devils um, so that uh, he can uh, build up his power and eventually try to um, take on what is Zariel's current mantle, uh, because he wants to actively try to avoid her plan of decimating Mount Celestia, and in by proxy destroying the world, that um, the material plane. That's all right. Some blind dragon born on Gedworth bird. <laughs> <laughs> so he will okay. he will just try and take on her burden. So after all of this fighting, eventually we end Orkrin's story with him sitting on the throne at Avernus. Conquers bad fur day style. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, okay. 
As that, should I say the last to... thing that I asked you about earlier, Callum? Now, if you want, um, as a last thing, uh, on each when any of you uh, die or reach your deathbed, Orkran will visit you one last time uh, and ask you if you wanted to help him in his crusade. Not offer you a deal, just ask you if you wanted to help him. And for every year that you were to help him, he will protect uh, your succession, whether it be the next generation of your family or someone you have chosen to be worthy of protection. Okay. Well, as Shadow canonically has children, according to Ellie. <laughs> that explains why Red was so goddamn powerful. <laughs> I feel, I feel like, so this is why the bard was so good. It's because Orkram was protecting them. <laughs> I like yeah, that. That's it. Sorry, I sorry I took a little while. No, that's, that's okay. That's don't worry perfect. about it. Uh, is, is anybody else sensing a crossover with Lewis's game? <laughs> I'm fucked with Baron. He's gonna have like five hundred kids serve one year, and I've got to protect five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Know. I don't know. Uh, canonically, the the son of Shadow is called Thousand Sons. So take from that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Grim protected him too well. So, <laughs> shall I go next for Cookie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Please well, do. What, uh... Please do. So, uh, Cookie's obviously going to take Orquin's advice and go home with Muriel to the lighthouse. Repair it, fix it, make it brand new. It looks amazing. Uh, he actually asks you, Radish, if it's possible to teleport him to the plane of water every now and then. Yeah, sure. Because he, cause he wishes to see Titan every now and then. Oh, no. And obviously see how the champion is doing. Of course, of <laughs> course. You just need to... Uh, write me in... No, that won't do. I'll get myself one of them sending stone thingamajigs. <laughs> oh, I'll help you pay for it. Because he gives you 12 platinum. Jesus! <laughs> platinum, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, he That's saved a bit of sense. platinum for himself. Uh, eventually, on one of his trips, he sees a rather nice looking female giant crab. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, and in the, eventually, in the future, an he sees. <laughs> Probably. Oh, uh, God. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Eventually, a family on the material plane at the lighthouse. Cookie the Dragon Slayer. And now there's many other little crabs. Oh, I imagine. And of course, between all of this, he has maybe some little mini adventures. Bloody hell, how many kids do we all have put together? I mean, <laughs> crabs fucking spawn out loads, so he's probably got like two yeah. million. <laughs> I'm really fucked with Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's Cookie. Living a happy life once again. Muriel is alive once more. Who would like to go next? If nobody else wants to go, I'll go. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you go, Jacob. Alright, so... After slaying the Mind Flayers um, with the Dragon Slayers and Hydra Slayer, Titan, um, <laughs> Drumhead... <laughs> Drum heads back to Leolon, um, bringing back the sword of Desendra with him. Um, uh, after this, he is pronounced leader of his tribe, and uh, Drum uh, Drum takes Mardan as his advisor. Um, after this, they stay in Leolon for a couple of months, so the Goliaths can finish. Uh, can finish any business that, that they've had that they have um, before heading back to the mountain. And during this time, two things happen. Um, Drom and Mardan set up trade routes with uh, with the help of our friendly noble Baron. 
um, we between the mountain and uh, Netherwinter and uh, Lailon. Um, this is to uh, because of this. When they go back to the mountain, the tribe ends up expanding, and they end up taking over the entire mountain. So it turns. So over time, it turns from a little tribe into like a full blown town where like there's where there's not just Goliaths. Like <clears throat> people come in and out. It's turned into like a proper what, a proper uh, little town now. What happens with the hag that was there? Tell them what happened to Ayla. They fucking execute. You'll see. You'll mm -hmm. see. Okay. Um, Ayla's alive. Okay. Yeah, Ayla's alive. And um, Ayla second... describes how he hit somebody over the head with a medicine case. <laughs> Good on <Ayla. laughs> The second Fair. thing is, Drum and Ayla discover that she is pregnant after oh. the, after that Ooh. after that night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> after that night in Leila and after the party. Well, like, lay a lot, am I right? Uh, she, is... <laughs> she is pregnant with uh, twins, one boy and one girl. Oh, no. Um, after, every... after everything was done, Drum heads back, uh, back up the mountain with his newfound tribe. Uh, leading them into a new age, uh, st uh, ending the war between the orcs and the Goliaths. Um, he spends his newfound time leading his tribe, um, raising his like spending time with his wife and raising his children, named Ivar, which is his son, and um, Nala, which is his daughter. Um, he uh, he visits other dragon slayers like uh, Radish when they um, when Radish teleported him away to um, to her family's house. Drum did say that he will uh, he will come and visit eventually. Yeah. And um, yeah, Drum also spends time with uh, with Baron, catching up on uh, catching up on old stories and. Um and uh yeah, like tell like sharing about how things have been, how things are going on, um and going on the uh going on the odd adventure with um with any dragon slayers that should need him. And eventually uh Drom uh, passes away as an old Gol as an old Goliath after his battle with uh with Orcrin and um, he he passes away with all of his family by his side and accepts and spends a couple of years uh, fighting uh, demons and devils with Orcrin. Nice. Okay. May I add one thing to yours, John? Yes. So, midway point before you died... Mm. A interesting ha uh, an interesting building appears. Yes. It looks like Jib Shop. Yes. <laughs> Weirdly just outside. And... <laughs> he kind of like looking through the window, very grumpy. He's like ushering you to come in. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you and we'll say Ayla and your kids come along as well. Mm. And as soon as you walk in, you notice it teleports away and you see a green field outside and you see what is known as Crash in the distance kind of just waiting there, hand on his sword. Mm. As Jib just says, take this sword. <laughs> he wants to fight you. Uh, drum, <laughs> drum, take, drum takes the sword and charges out of the door. Doesn't even, doesn't even like hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> And so we'll end Drum's story with the little baby Ivor and Nala watching yes. his dad does what he does, and you just see them little mini hits in the air trying to copy their father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's move on to hmm. Shall we do Frank? You've got two of them. I do indeed, Ooh. don't I? Okay, so first of all, Titan, 
Hopefully, with the help of Radish, we'll be able to return back to the plane of water. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, just know, it's like, shit, I've got to wait for Jib now. God yeah. damn it. I had to compose myself <laughs> because Jacob's fucking rap on made me cry. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, on returning to the plane of water, he meets up with Charlene, makes sure she's obviously doing okay, explains everything that's happened. And now, realizing he is the first Hydra Slayer in history for the Plane of Water, to his knowledge anyway, and realizing that the uh, previous owner of the Colosseum and Pesco Bar are is uh, no more, not really thanks to him, but he was <laughs> there, he decides that he will take up the role of being the Colosseum Master. Nice. So he is now <laughs> aboard a dragon turtle. He travels all over the Plane of Water. He holds battles here, battles there. Anyone who's brave enough can challenge him. And he lives a long, prosperous life, continuing to battle, always on the lookout for new adventures. But he's content in the plane of water. Nice. And every now and then gets a visit from Cookie. He does indeed. And I'm sure the gladiators will be more than happy to fight a team of Cookie and Titan. <laughs> they are and the now... tag team champions. <laughs> now, Beer Brand. He is now a two time Dragon Slayer, which he can hold above everyone else. <laughs> but now he's returned back to the Neverwinter Woods, becoming once again its guardian, so he can remain here and guard the forest for the rest of his life. He's been busy making a memorial for Iverna Nightbreeze. He's carved a statue depicting the sexy cowboy dealing a stunning blow to Warfock. <laughs> Damn right, he has. And also, if anyone ever travels to the Neverwinter Woods, in the centre, there will be a garden called the Dragon Slayer's Garden. Inside this garden, he's got a field of exhaustion greens growing. In the <laughs> In the river next to it, there is underwater bananas that are starting to bloom. <laughs> In the centre of it is a very, very, very short sculpture made of wood and stone that's been crafted in such a way that when the wind blows, a soft melody is played. The shortness was had to be short. Opposite this <laughs> is uh, beans growing in a field of multiple spices. And in the middle of the field, instead of a scarecrow, is a snowman that never melts. <laughs> and in circling the entire garden, <laughs> there grows coffee beans. And whilst <laughs> the coffee beans are growing, there's always squirrels quaffling them down and sprinting round and round and round. <laughs> and as Beer Brand looks over the garden, he reaches into the river and pulls out a crab. He smiles as he casts Awaken. And looks at the crab and goes, you shall be Cookie 2. Well met, Cookie 2. Oh, oh, oh. Well met, real uh -huh. brand! <laughs> <laughs> and that is how Beer Brand lives the rest of his life. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for... Ellie, are you hand hanging in there? Oh, I don't think I can do mine just yet. <laughs> okay. Lewis. Okay. So, Shadow, after the battle, after he said his goodbyes to the group, will uh, return to his old monastery where he left Kaimana. Um, what what would he find there, Callum? Uh, well, you'd find your master. Okay. Actually oh, waiting Kaimana's outside still alive. for you. That's, yeah. So Shadow will relay to Kaimana that he has completed his quest to stop the dragon. And while he was at it, he also stopped Carrick, who was killing the monastery's members. And also stopped a Mind Flayer invasion on multiple planes. 
and um, following this, he will, with his regrets, inform Kaimana that he is leaving the monastery. Um, but he returns, knits, and uh, he gi he gives Kaimana knits monastery symbol and his own monastery symbol. But Shadow keeps hold of Carrix to remind him of what happened. Uh, Shadow returns to, uh, after this, saying his goodbyes to Kamana and wishing him luck. Uh, Shadow moves on to Neverwinter, where with the uh, the gold he, uh, he earned legitimately. Uh, Shadow is going to open a uh, a dojo uh, oh. for training people in the martial arts, uh, and uh, passing on his knowledge. But also for a select few members of the dojo, uh, there's also a bit of a side hustle for this dojo. It's actually a little bit of a thieves guild. <laughs> Uh, for those okay, select few members that he thieves. trusts. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a few uh, monk slash rogues in Neverwinter, thanks to uh, thanks to Shadow. Um, occasionally, he helps out those who are in Neverwinter, the adventurers he used to adventure with, with any jobs they might need help with in Neverwinter, including Baron. Um, but he, he has one rule for his followers, and that is, don't cause any undue damage, but definitely fuck with people. <laughs> <laughs> don't cause any <laughs> undue damage, but definitely fuck with people. Definitely. Fuck with people. Awesome. Yes. But yeah, don't cause any undue harm. Um and uh yeah, he will uh he will spend uh most of his life. He'll he'll try to recruit Sparky into his little organization. Uh I would hope Sparky. I think would it do might be so fair to say as... that the jackfruits might help fund it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So he, yeah, he would, uh, yeah, he would have some contacts in the jackfruits. Uh, he would occasionally, um, if he ever saw Jib's shop, go and have a little bit of a catch up and a <laughs> attempt. To annoy him, but uh, not to the extent that Jib would try to strand him in the astral plane again. Uh, <laughs> Shadow learns. Shadow did, in fact, learn his lesson from that. Um, well, yeah, Jib, Jib does that... appear. Okay. Weirdly fond of you. Not that will show it. Hmm. Mm. Uh, every now and then, he actually offers. Uh, for you to come with him for certain places. It always seems to be errands. <laughs> Shadow would, out of respect like, to Jib. You're, you're, you're fast enough to run through that field without burn, burning and come back with that <laughs> awesome fruit over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sh Shadow would do this. He would, re he would act reluctant to do it, but he would still do it. Um... <laughs> And uh, yeah, he would also, you know, peruse Jib's magic items, get any good ones with his uh, with his pilfered gains from his uh, his little crime syndicate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think he'd probably get partner in on it as well. The uh, the uh, the guy who was uh, the sort of yeah fence in the underground bit. Um. He'd always he'd always be looking over his shoulder though, just in case Carrot came back once again. 
subtle, subtly he's, and, he's awkward and behind he him, a, pretending to be Carrick. And he really, really didn't like red jelly for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, he would. He would eventually find a nice uh, tabaxi woman to have some children with. What? Not the monk from Baron's was... house. Oh. Sorry, yes, uh, <laughs> Leah. <laughs> have some little half tabaxi children. <laughs> That's quarter, quarter half elf. <laughs> what the hell do half tabaxis look like? I don't know. Sorry. Uh, uh, only one half. Only one half. Make a taste from Final okay. Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, but um, yeah, he would, he would, you know, live out his days until, um, until he was an old tabaxi, and then uh, I'd say he would. Accept Orkrin's offer, go and help him in Avernus for a little bit. As the uh, probably the fastest creature in Avernus, as well as the material plane. <laughs> Almost definitely, yeah. <laughs> Doing this purely for his own benefit. <laughs> <laughs> these, these poor demons! Like, could you, <laughs> no, like, right, could you imagine? There is just no hope. Okay. Oh. Ellie. Yeah, I'm ready now. Are you composed? Yeah. So, on, after all that travel, little radish brandy nose and her brother chip whiskey on return home. Sometime after, she gets herself a sending stone and uh, remains mostly in tune in the whole halfling lifestyle of family, food, and good times. More often than not, though, she'd find herself bored with staying home all day after all that adventure. She'd take up jobs from the Druid of, Se Druids of Seasons, despite what she'd said earlier. Or travel as a healer to towns in need, always returning to her family for a good night of revelry and rest. Occasionally, she'd visit the others, spending most time of the time of them at Von Trout Manor, where she would knock on the door and leave samples of farm goods, usually cheese and wine, and quickly teleport indoors and cause a ruckus, usually by sitting on <laughs> their chairs upside down bored. Over time, Anastasia Von Trout grew to not hate the little halfling so much. It was around autumn time when Drom arrives. She would then drag the dragon slayers over for a harvest feast. She looks at the room with her huge, poncy, watery, crabby, badgery, speedy halfling family. But there's some fire <laughs> missing. That is when she says Orkrin's name aloud. And he is summoned to the most beautiful table of food he's ever seen. She does this every year at harvest time, to which Orkrin always attends. They would each take turn telling stories to the wide-eyed little siblings, cousins, and of course, Ivor and Nala. And the halflings would ask Radish about the others often. It became a relaxing yet fulfilling life for Radish, Radish Brandy Nose Iron Belly. She liked that. And she lived out the rest of her days doing all that. She dies with no children, but surrounded by those she deems family. She, of course, accepts Orkrin's invitation. Smiling, elderly, and with a loaf of banana bread in her hand. That's it. Okay. Thank you, Ellie. Right, so I think we've got one last person. Yep. I didn't even think about Baron's death. So that's interesting. I might have to hmm. think about him. I'd already read my uh, radishes. No, I, 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 so, I didn't. Before important. you say your one, Baron. I have a question for you. Go on. Would Baron like to become king? <laughs> <laughs> right. So I thought about this a lot. So before everybody goes their separate ways, um, Baron would like everyone to meet up with B.O. Brand and his family one more time. And... Being the big, uh, talkative, annoying prick that he is, <laughs> um, yes. he, um, well, well, not summon, but ask everyone to listen one last time to something he has to say. It would go something like this. Shit, now I need to think. <laughs> um, you know, um, I know you guys are 
annoyed by my voice all the time and sometimes I even get annoyed by myself that there's something important I need to say to all of you. Um, when I first started all of this, um, I had the vain goal of being able to write stories about myself to pass on to future generations and to, well, the not as selfish goal, I think, anyway, of rebuilding my family's image. Sorry, mother. And to be honest with all of you, and I've, I've only ever said this to Orkrin, um, I've always had a bit of an well, insecurity issue. I've never truly been able to be myself. The confidence you saw really was, well, more arrogance and more of a, well, facade, shall we say. Very closely on, you know, not long after meeting you guys, I was well, bestowed the opportunity to perhaps one day be king. And it drove me, it, it, it became an obsession, and I really thought it was important to me. But something funny happened to me along the way as I travelled with you all and regained family connections and made new ones, I... I started to realize something. I started to realize what was truly important to me. And it's it's not money, it's not nobility, it's not even becoming king anymore. It's it's all of you. It's family, it's friends, it's people, everyone across this this kingdom. And the more I've thought about it, as ironic as it is, the more I've realized that the goals I had at the beginning actually weren't nearly as important as I thought they were. And I've also realized something else. I, I need to start being more honest with myself. I don't need to be king to be happy or to find purpose. I've got everything right here. That's that's all I could ever ask for. And that will be his speech. So the, the, sh the short answer is no. Baron doesn't become king. <laughs> um, he does a full 180 from when he essentially began where all of his goals were self-centered and all about himself and he's taken on a new light thanks to uh, his family and his friends and he's going to put all of his energies towards helping other people mostly sounds like he's well, become the perfect king really yeah <laughs> yeah so without, <laughs> ironically without becoming one which i honestly the more i thought about it the more it made sense to me um, yeah. Considering, that. Um, in the immediate future, um, he will take both Ralphus and the head of the Mind Slayer, and present them to the royal family. Explain everything that's happened, uh, how the king was killed, how Ralphus was um, not only had obviously murdered Baron's father and a lot of the other nobles, but was also uh, part of this plot. And um, Ralphus will have a proper trial, uh, end up obviously being found guilty. And instead of Baron doing the killing, it will be one of the knights doing it essentially in public in front of all of the nobles, basically giving the justice which he had, had said to uh, Ralphus that he was going to. Now I need to look at the knights. Um, part of being honest with himself is for a long time he didn't pursue a certain elven lady because he was worried he was going to <laughs> noble standing 
he's going to go back on that now and he will pursue Adria and eventually will get married to her. And oh. taking uh, the advice of Orkrin, um from when uh, he saw uh, Sakana, he will form uh, the new Von Trout noble family, which will be dedicating themselves to helping uh, Neverwinter and the wider world. So with that, um, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, he will continue to help Anderson and Carissa with their projects and charitable work whenever uh, they need it. But he will also be starting his own, and he will be trying to, along the way, persuade the royal family and other noble families to help out should they be interested in, in doing so. So here are some of the short to medium term projects that Baron has in mind and he's going to implement. So the first thing is, is he's going to help uh, Drom as much as he can rebuild the Goliath's home as well as the request that John made about uh, trading. And so all of these requests, by the way, will include resources and any money that is needed. He will be helping to rebuild Conaberry for yin and yang. Um, he will also provide funding and resources to help build Shadow's Monastery in Neverwinter, as well as, dream, but yeah. <laughs> as, as well as provide uh, funding and resources to help to help further renovate the lighthouse um, should Cookie and uh, Mural want it, which sounds like they do because obviously Auckland did the same thing. Um, and he'll be helping uh, Anderson to further build and protect Leilong. And then he'll offer protection for two other places. First will be Neverwinter Forest uh, with uh, for beer, beer brand, and the other will be to offer protection for Su uh, Shun. I can't say Radish's home. Shun, Shun. Shun for Radish's home. Um, the final, well, there's two more things, but one of them I'm going to say for a specific reason. Um, the other thing is he's going to offer further restitution for the families who uh, lost loved ones at the Von Trout family. So should they want it so the party so that's the, that's the um that's the selfless part here comes mm -hmm. the uh vain aka baron has a lot of fucking money to spend part so <laughs> he's got also going to do some personalized gifts for all of the party so oh. first one is for drum so Drom is going to get a personalized great sword with a golden hilt. And at the end, you're going to see a carved, a carved dragon's head by the hilt for where he can obviously grab it. And he will, with this sword, there will also be a further S, uh, a, another engraving, an S going down the middle, which stands for Slayer. So you have the dragon's head, which is dragon, and then the S, Slayer. So he'll have a personalized great sword. What, not a pen? Hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Um, <laughs> Sorry. He's going to be gifted a pen. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's Drums. Oh, I've lost my notes. Um, for Shadow, um, he will go up to Shadow's monastery and greet him. So uh, I have a little gift for you um you seem so fond when i uh casted this on you so i think you should have it permanently permanently Ooh. and he's going to give shadow uh gloves of haste <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> so, shadow so now twice has as many pockets haste on him all the fucking time oh no <laughs> So was that necessary? Uh, <laughs> work out my new top speed. It is not necessary, but Baron also feels like causing some havoc as well, at least with Shadow. Yeah. Uh, with Radish, uh, Radish is going to get a special delivery from uh, the Von Trout household. The first thing she's going to see is one of the gifts is going to be um, all wrapped up. Very, very big, 
when she opens it, she will find a giant portrait of Baron in the <laughs> obnoxious pose that he could think of. Oh, I love it. And, uh, oh, for fuck's sake! But Who's with that, it, Reddish? Um... Oh, don't worry, just some ponty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> But with that will come the proper gifts, which is uh, some customised uh, whiskey and brandy bottles with her name engraved on it. Oh, fuck yeah! And some very, <laughs> and some very expensive cheese. <laughs> and the note, there'll be a note written uh, with the whiskey and brandy, uh, which will say, uh, I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but you've got to admit, we did make pretty good drinking partners, and there'll be a smiley face next to the to the note. <laughs> um, Bio Brands uh, will get a replacement of the Iron Stone of Insight, which was taken from him. Oh, very nice. He and... gave it willingly. <laughs> True, but still. He did. He did. And, and this this was written in all caps in bold. Two more elephants for him to look after. <laughs> yes! Oh, the elephants! Okay, the so note, there's, there's okay, now so four there's... elephants there. Auckland's has changed. Well, Auckland's gifts hasn't changed, but the way it's going to be delivered has been changed. So, um, I would say, um, would Radish have told um, Baron in advance that she'd be inviting. Um, no, it was a, it's a spur of the moment thing. Uh... Right, fair enough. When drawn the right, she was just like, fuck it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but then okay. you said every year after. Oh, yeah, every year after, definitely. Like, he would have got a chance to give all prints up. Okay, uh, no. Um, Baron, at some point, um, having uh, everything prepared, uh, will use up his um, call in to Orkrin. And uh, Orkrin. Uh, will first of all be getting uh, a similar customized weapon to Drom in terms of the, the dragon slayer um, head and the S and all engraved in gold. But it's a great axe with a tag on it with one word. I'll give you one guess to guess what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. So, well, and then also. Um, Auckland, that's that's not all I've got for you. Um, here, that's, your love of food. Well, couldn't help but think about it. And he's going to uh, bring for Auckland a uh, banana bread maker. <laughs> no, I need to be useful somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'd already had it prepared, and I wasn't going back on it. So fair enough. <laughs> Okay. I have my Hell Citadel and just a banana bread maker in their corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, during this time, um, at some point, um, Baron would ask a favour from Radish to uh, be teleported to the Plane of Water to yeah. see Titan. Yeah, piss and... off. <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. Right. Titan will get his gift No, done. all right, fine. Only because it's for Titan, not because it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> She's not teleporting you back, though. You know, you know, Radish, <laughs> everyone here, even you, you little shit, as he must messes around with Radish's hair a little bit. He gets a snowball in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he'll um teleport to find Titan, and Titan will get a personalized golden Triton. With, oh, the hand, oh. with the handle and the hilt uh, being in the shape of a hydra's head. Oh, hell which, yeah. Which one? <laughs> um, <laughs> the one that's most majestic. Um, um, Titan, I know you're probably um, very happy here in the plane of water. I mean, you've got everything that you'd want. You've got the Colosseum, um, you've got your lady friend, I don't know if she's just a friend or not, but still. Um, and Pescobar is 
dead. But just as a open invitation, should you ever want to move to the material plane? Um, you have an open invitation to Neverwinter, and I will make sure that you are that you will find a home here. Um, you have my word. Should you ever take it up with me, Titan will thank you, and he will say, perhaps in a few years' time, he may take you up on the offer. But a time being, he's happy where he is. Cool. He'll not bow his head. And last but not least, Cookie. <laughs> so Cookie uh, will have a gift all wrapped up for him. And it will also contain a note. And it will be a little bit of a longer note. And it will say, you deserve this for yourself. I hope you put it to good use for whatever you decide to do. And then underneath it will say, P.S. Focus on the weapon. You'll know what I mean when you see it. And as he opens up the um, the present, he will see a familiar looking dragon slayer rapier. Oh. When he focuses on it, instead of Baron's name coming up with the musical notes, instead it will come up with Cookie's name uh, all in bubbles. Uh, whenever he <laughs> on the weapon or he decides to cast spiritual weapon. Uh, Baron, in the long term, uh, will basically dedicate his life um, to serving Neverwinter, serving his family and his friends, and um, yeah, just ride off into the sunset with his new Von Trout family and um, a new man, shall we say. Oh. <laughs> well, Does he oh. accept Orkrin's invitation, though? That's a real question. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I was... <sighs> so, when Orkrin visits Baron, Baron will look at him, think to himself, you know, you did offer me a chance at redemption a short way um, with a contract um, to help you serve uh, Zeriel and Avernus. And I, I wanted to do things my way and I didn't feel comfortable um, with having a third party involved, shall we say. But now it's just you and it's for this purpose. I promised I would serve my friends, didn't I? And he'll shake Auckland's hand and he'll take it off as well. Cute. Literally all of us said yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Dragon Slayers rise on. Dragon Slayers <laughs> take on hell. <laughs> Join us Campaign next campaign. Because <laughs> sent into a furnace. Baron be like, oh shit, and immediately regret it. But he stopped now. <laughs> Hey, at least that's a generation of kids who get protected. Think, Fuck. <laughs> I'm your boss now. <laughs> well. It's emotional. It's quite the ending, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Man, I got snot all over my fucking bandana because it was the only thing that was close to a tissue nearby. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm, I'm sorry I made you cry Oh no, it's fine If you didn't, other people would have Oh, the closest I got one Was, was when Beer Brand awakened the other crab and I was Yeah, like... no, that was like <laughs> I, I forgot to mention I did uh, also uh, Bio Brand will see Dagamore in the river constantly collecting the fucking bananas. Yeah. <laughs> Got to say it earlier. Uh, <laughs> make banana bread with it. Yeah, I bypassed it on my notes. I will say I quite like that garden you just thought of, Frank. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad. I uh, thought... wrote a note for future if any campaign I have includes <laughs> Neverwinter again. 
Oh, uh, that'd be cool. That's it, I, yeah. I like I like the idea of the of the awakened crab. Um, uh, be a ran mage turns out to be Cookie's girlfriend. Oh no, that's weird. No, I'm <laughs> no. <laughs> that awakened crab is a baby. <laughs> I was gonna say, baby crab. I was I was think I was thinking it's, it should just an ordinary crab. awakened crab. I didn't think it was a brand new crab. Also, he said crab, crab, not giant crab. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little normal sized size crab. crab. It's a little normal awakened crab. Little one. The, the regular size of... enemy crab. Cookie and coochie. Anyway, if we're still recording, if you we look are. at the time. Hey, hold on. Uh, there we go. It's on the screen. <gasps> By God, it's closing time for the Mystic Tavern. And it's closing time for this adventure. Evidently. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> the story of the Dragon Slayers uh, is over. That was good. A long, yeah. Strange that journey. That was a nice ending. That was a really nice ending. Yeah. I'm amazed nobody died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I think we all did in the epilogue. I, you know what, Lewis? <laughs> Same. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, well, I was really close. Like there more than some once good in moves in there. Must say, there were some good moves in there. Yeah. <laughs> my my personal favourite was slam dunking chip. <laughs> 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 that was genius. That was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna we stop was, we was all like, ah, oh, he's gonna take him over to Radish, but nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording now.